Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my new video. Today I would like to show you how to create Foamiran daisy. Maybe it's not a typical daisy, but very similar flower. In uh, I made them in pink, purple, actually light purple and uh, dark pink. So to create them you will need a piece of foamiran. For these kinds of flower I'm only folding a foamiran in two, in half, so I cut out two layers at the same time. And I'm using Lady E Design Flower 11 die. Uh, you can create different type of flowers. I have created sunflowers with uh, that set, but today I will show you how to make a daisy. To make one flower I'm using three layers of the same size of the die cut. This is of course uh, my way of doing it. It's only a suggestion. You can try different uh, combinations, but uh, for me it worked the best. So three the same die cuts and I'm also adding a bit of color in the center of each layer. After uh, making a video I thought probably uh, adding a color only on the top layer would be enough, but just in case <laughs> I added on each layer. So I'm using the same color as uh, the Femuran, only darker shade. So for the pink I used pink, for the purple I used purple ink. Mm, of course you can uh, color your phone with oil pastels, uh, soft pastels, markers. I'm just using ink today. These flowers require very little uh, shaping. I will be using iron first of all just to um, make the foam softer and also to uh, make the petals slightly smaller. My iron is set up uh, between two and three dots so it's not too hot. Okay, I just want to warm uh, up the foamiran. Then it's very easy to shape. So I'm placing each petal on the iron, keeping it there for a few seconds, then I'm going to very gently roll the petals between my fingers. But I'm almost not pressing. This is very very gentle because if you will uh, do it hard you will just your petals will be very uh, wrinkled. Ve like they will go in different directions. So just gently doing that and then press into the sponge also very gently. I just don't want my layers to be uh, as flat as they are after die cutting. This is it. And I will repeat that for each layer, for each flower. After shaping I'm going to stick all three layers together. I'm adding a very small dot of a glue in the center of each layer and applying the another layer on top. 
Then uh, to finish off the flower, I'm placing a little gem in the center of it. So I used self-adhesive um, gems and also like half pearls which I attach to the flower with hot glue. The last thing I want to do is to add a little bit of sparkle to my flowers. I will be using glue and uh, glitter. Remember to use a glue that dries clear so you will not see it uh, when it's dry. Uh, I'm using the Glamour Dust, the, the glitter it's called Glamour Dust. I uh, absolutely love it. It's white with um, many like very uh, tiny pieces of color. It's very fine glitter, really nice for uh, my flowers for today. And this will be it. Uh, I hope you like the video and I hope that you will create similar flowers. Let me know in the comment what do you think and I also invite you to watch my other flower making tutorials. Thank you very, very much. Have a lovely creative day. Bye-bye.